everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoterica. Today we're going to be showing you how to adjust your Sony PVM monitors. Before we get in too far, go down below, hit like, subscribe, definitely helps us out. On the left we have the Sony 14M2U, and on the right the Sony 14L2. These are my two PVMs. As you will see, they're working perfectly fine, but they do need a little bit of an image adjustment. Generally on the front, you're just going to be able to adjust contrast and brightness when you're using an RGB signal. All the other knobs aren't going to do much, but those are going to be your first lines of defense as far as adjusting your image is concerned. Now if you take a little bit look closer here at Rocket Knight Adventure, you're going to see the left hand side of the screen is too far over to the right, and the top has an issue where the left and the right aren't really uniform. So what we're going to do is get into the service menu, it's going to be a hidden menu, you just hit menu, and then you hit Enter and degas at the same time. It may take you a few times to get it right, but you'll see up at the top now we have the full service menu available to us. And that's how we can adjust those vertical and horizontal holds so that we're able to get the image nice and tight in there. You'll see as you scroll through, there's a lot of options. You can download the manuals online, but generally 90% of this you're not going to need to touch whatsoever. But you'll see here, if you have any issues, just turn the TV off, turn the TV back on, and you'll get right back out of that service menu. Makes it easy just to get out quickly. But now that we're adjusting the horizontal frequency here, you're going to see the image is going to shift to the left, and we're going to have those two blue bars on the left and the right, so we're getting close. And we'll adjust the vertical size as well to fill the TV with that image as close to center as we can possibly get it. It's never going to be perfect. They are, you know, old PVM TVs. But now that we change that horizontal size, you're going to see that we have a really nice image all the way around the borders so we can actually see the entire game on that television. And if you need to get your model number, they're always going to be on the back. Just Google the model number and then service manual, and it'll give you the directions exactly how to get into that service test menu and adjust it from there. On the right here, we're looking at the L2, and it's playing Metroid. And you will see that I'm in the service menu by using Enter and Degas at the same time. But that menu is going to start flickering around. For some reason on this TV, it does not like appearing when you actually have an RGB signal going in. So my best advice for that is you can just basically adjust the TV either looking at this flashing or you can actually turn the TV to a different signal input and then the menu will come up perfectly fine and you'll be able to make adjustments and then go back to your RGB signal. But you can see as I adjust here, you can make it look really bad, but as I adjust that back up to the proper deflection points, you're going to see that that image fills the TV quite nicely with no overrun or underrun on either side. So that's kind of how you adjust the TVs. Like I said here, you will see that that menu just won't come up anymore. It does and it kind of flickers around when I turn sync off. So like I said, the easiest way to deal with something like that, as you can see the menu button doesn't even work now, is to just switch signal inputs and you'll see it. For some reason on this TV, the menu doesn't come up with that RGB sync. It just has an issue. So this is my advice. And you'll see we have all these different adjustments on the L2 model as well. It's a newer model, so the menu looks a bit nicer and gives you a little bit more detail what you're adjusting. But what we're basically adjusting here is just the horizontal blank left that way we're able to fill the image and then we turn the game back on and you'll see that all four corners have a really nice strong image the game is perfectly centered and everything looks as we would expect but that's about it that's how you adjust your sony pvms be careful with the settings you can get them pretty out of whack but you can restore them to factory direct settings but if you could do us a huge favor go down below hit like subscribe these episodes take a long time to make otherwise have a great weekend and we'll see you next time Bye bye